Hello and welcome. This short video will go over some of the tools and features of Google Chrome as well as some tips and tricks that can help you utilize this browser in your classroom. Once you've signed into Google Chrome, you should notice all of your preferences and settings synced over. If you're unsure how to sign into Chrome, please revisit the HyperDoc and watch the video on signing into Chrome versus signing into Gmail. Now that you've signed in, you should see some of your settings that have synced over. One of those settings in particular are your bookmarks. Your bookmark bar is featured right beneath the Omnibox in Google Chrome. It consists of various bookmarks that you've saved through your travels on the internet. Let's talk about adding a new bookmark. Let's say instead of going to Google Drive every day by opening a new tab, going to the waffle and getting to Drive, I'd like to have an icon on my bookmarks bar just as I do for mail and Twitter to easily navigate to Google Drive. Simply visit the site you want to bookmark and on the Omni box you'll see a little star. Click on that star and a dialog box will appear. It'll have the desired name for the bookmark and where you want to store that bookmark. Let's talk about the name. The name that appears does not need to be the name you wish to have it appear as. So let's say in this case, I just want it to say drive. I would remove the rest and I'm left with drive. You could also remove it all and type in something that you would recognize. Next is the location or folder. In this instance, you have the option to put it directly on the bar or put it in a selected folder that you have created. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but for now, we're going to put this right on the bookmark bar. Once we have our name and our destination, we hit done. Now we can see that our bookmark has been added to the bookmark bar. And if we were to go into a new tab, we could get there simply by clicking on that bookmark. In addition to be at being added to folders, bookmarks can also be arranged on your bookmark bar by simply dragging them from one spot to another. Click on the desired bookmark, hold, and move to its new location. You can also try right-clicking on bookmarks for more options, such as opening in a tab, editing if you want to change the name, or copying and pasting, or going to your bookmark manager to edit all of your bookmarks at once. And we'll get there a little later. But for now, let's talk about edit it. If we want to edit our bookmark, we click edit, and now we can rearrange the name or the URL of our desired bookmark. If your bookmark has an icon or what's known as a favicon that is unique to the website, such as Drive's logo, you can remove the name entirely, hit save, and now you're just left with an icon to click on. This is great for saving space along your bookmark bar for sites that you visit regularly. Now let's talk about creating folders and organizing bookmarks. To do that, we're going to want to visit the bookmark manager. The bookmark manager can be located in the more button in the top right corner. Three dots, whether they're vertical or horizontal in Google, always represent more. When we select it, we have a list of different options that we can visit. And in this case, we're going to come down under the bookmarks icon and select bookmarks manager. A new window opens up and shows us all the folders and all the bookmarks we have stored under the bookmark bar. This list on our bookmark bar correlates to the list that we see up here. If we would like to create a new folder, we can either right click to add a new bookmark or a new folder, or if we come up to the three dots, we can do the same thing here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit add new folder. And I'm going to call this one morning. And hit save. Now what's great about these folders is if you organize your bookmarks such as things you do every morning, there's a great feature that'll allow or trick that'll allow you to open up all those bookmarks at once. So now, just as before when we clicked and dragged and moved our icons around, we can do the same thing here in Bookmark Manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four websites that we hypothetically use every single day and I'm going to move them to our morning folder. And all I did was highlighted them all and clicked and dragged them to that folder. If I double click on this folder, I can look inside and see that they are all there. If you haven't noticed yet, you'll also see that that folder for the morning also appears on my bookmark bar now. So if I were to come in to my classroom in the morning and I had websites that I used every day for um, grade school, uh, my grade book, maybe I had stuff for uh, my morning meetings, websites, slideshows that I used every day, whatever those resources may have been, you can organize them all in your bookmark um, folder. And if you right click on that folder, you have the option to open all. And all of your bookmarks and sites now open and are ready for you to use that day. One of the other nice features and preferences or settings that syncs when you sign into Chrome are all of your passwords and user accounts. So if there is a website that utilizes a username and password and that's been saved, it'll log you in automatically. I'm going to close some of these windows. So those are a few of the tips and tricks of how to use bookmarks. Next, we're going to talk about adding extensions. One of the extensions you'll be using a lot during this course is the extension Screencastify, which will allow you to record your screen and your voice to create self-guided videos for your students to use in the classroom. To add new extensions, on the left-hand side here, you can visit the App Store and then go to your Web Store. This will take you to the Chrome Web Store where you can download extensions or themes to your Chrome browser. Another easy way to get there is to just Google it. Chrome Web Store. And what you'll notice is, instead of even going to a Google page to Google it, I can just type that right in the URL bar or Omnibox, hit enter, and Chrome will perform a Google search for that particular topic. Chrome Web Store, and I'm in the same place. In here, you're going to search for your screen Castify extension. This is the application or extension that you guys will be using for this course. Click Add to Chrome. It'll ask you one last time if this is the extension you're looking to add. You'll click Add Extension. Once it's done checking compatibility, that extension will now appear in the list of extensions you've already added to Chrome. Those extensions will always appear to the right of your URL or Omnibox. Typically when you add a new extension, as you go to use it, you'll get little pop-ups like that one letting you know how to use that app. If apps require, require a sign-in, as this one does, They'll take you to their web page in which you can sign in many cases with Google. You'll select allow. And now that application is ready for use. Depending on the application, before using it, there may be some um, permissions such as allowing the microphone and allowing this particular application to capture your screen. And in this case, you get a short preview on how to record a video. This will be covered later on in one of our other videos in the HyperDoc. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, the Omnibox is not only where you can type in a web address, but also where you can search for different things on the Internet. 
Simply type in what you're looking for and Chrome will perform a Google search. It's also great to utilize with number of tools. So if I'm looking for a timer, I simply type in timer and there's a tool that's built right into Chrome to allow me to use. I can also do conversion, five feet to meters and I can get that conversion. Translations as well. There are a number of different tools and tricks that can be used with the Omnibox and I would highly recommend looking into some of them that might benefit you or your students. Hopefully some of these features and tools can be used in your classroom and tricks make your daily life a little bit easier. Be sure to check out the other resources in the HyperDoc to help you um, complete your assignment as well as pass your assessment. If you have any other questions, you can always post those questions in the classroom or email one of the facilitators.